Hello everyone, it's Deep Basketball, and today I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how to make a duct tape accordion wallet. It looks like this. Sorry about my hands, I have henna on them. But it looks like this. This is obviously $3. I'm selling it. So if you want to buy this, you can buy it on my shop. But it looks like this. It's going to have Velcro. It's going to be accordion. It's not going to have the double expandable part here. It's just going to be like this. Then I'll have a coin, a coin pouch with no sticky adhesive, and it's really nice, trimmed everywhere. It's expandable, and it folds nicely, and it's super thin. So I'm going to show you guys how to make this. The things you're going to be needing are some Velcro. I'm using these Scotch. Purpose fasteners that has four feet of Velcro on it and has a lot, so I would recommend get, getting this. You can get these at Target. I also I'm going to be using an X-Acto knife. You can also use a pair of scissors, um, a ruler, a cutting board. I got this one at Office Depot, and you want to have at least two different duct tapes. I'm using Super Mario and white, so let's get started. By the way guys, you also want to have some Ziploc from a Ziploc bag. So the first thing you want to do is cut three strips that are four inches long. I'm using my Mario tape, which is my pattern color. Now I'm cutting my Ziploc cutting it to make it four inches long. I did a little extra so I can cut off that closed end. And when you cut it, make sure you leave about half an inch on the other side. Okay, now I'm cutting at so that there's one fourth of an inch on the very top of it. And it should be nice and even. Now I'm getting my tape and I'm lining it right on top. Don't overlap it over the ziplock and folding that down. Now I'm getting my other piece, lining it on the bottom, folding that down. It should be sticking this on the other side. I'm getting that piece. And I made it three inches tall. I would recommend doing it a little bit bigger. Otherwise, it'll end up at two and a half inches, which is what mine turned out. So there should be a little bit of stickiness, and you just want to repeat that same process with a pink one, like so. And now I'm grabbing my ruler and my X-Acto knife, and I'm just trimming the ends as little as possible. We're going to be doing a lot of trimming. You just want to keep it at the four-inch, um, you know, measurement. And I kind of messed up on the pink one, so there's stickiness on the back side. whoop de doo Okay, then my bird fell off of his ladder, so there, right on my hand, he got on my hand. I put that in slow motion so you guys could see. There he is. Cutie. Going on! Okay, so I just locked that together with a ziplock, you know, just zipped it together. And now I folded that stickiness down and placed it on the other piece and folded the other piece down. Therefore, there will be no more sticky no sticky at all on the bottom of the coin pouch. This helps the coins not stick to it. Now I'm trimming it with my X-Acto knife and ruler. Like so. And my scissors. Okay, now I cut three strips that are four inches long. Overlap one on top of the other to make it five inches tall. This is making a duct tape sheet. Now we're turning this into a fabric by cutting five strips no, 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 sorry. Three strips that are five inches long. This is my outside color, obviously. Putting those aside makes it far more easier. Now I'm placing that on there. Try to line it up on your cutting board to make it easier for you to line it up. And now I'm getting my five inch piece and overlapping it on top of that sticky side of sticky side, making sure that you put stickiness on all sides. Make sure to not overlap one strip on the other strip. Just put it on top of the sticky. Now I'm cutting um, corners on the sides there to make it easier to fold. And now we're making the expandable parts, which is probably, what am I saying? Okay, now we're going to cut, yeah, we are making the expandable parts. Okay, so you're cutting two strips that are three inches long, and then two strips that are two and a half inches long. And this is for the um, expandable parts. So I placed the sticky side of sticky side. As you can see, I'll just show you guys the other one. And then fold that stickiness over so that'll make the lip. Now I'm cutting two and a half inches of tape, cutting that in half, lining the side. 
I have to kind of figure out which what place am I supposed to line it. So then I know it's going so fast. I had to trim it, so I just trimmed it with my ruler. Okay, then I I'm just placing them on there and folding it down. Now I'm getting another piece of tape that's exactly to the size of it. And I cut that in half, and you just want to cover up that sticky. That pretty much you're just closing down that um, coin pouch, as you can see. There was an opening. And now we're just folding that back into place. Then I'm just trimming the left and right sides of that duct tape sheet with the stickiness hanging over. There should be about the same size of stickiness hanging over. Now I'm just trimming it and folding over on the expandable sides, the sticky part. Then I fold that down and fold up that sticky, lots of sticky. Now I'm just folding in the sides. Then we have that now. See the coin pouch, all nice and cool. Now we're doing the Velcro, so I'm just cutting it, trimming it to the right size. Placing one piece on top of the other to trim it to make it the same size Velcro. My Velcro roll there. So I have two pieces now. Now I'm peeling off the sticky, placing it on. Putting the other piece over that. Peeling off that sticky, and then I just folded it back, and I actually did a little bit extra, so I had to trim it off. Okay, guys, so this is the finished accordion. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's really easy. It's nice and roomy. There's hardly any stickiness on the bottom. There's a coin pouch with no sticky as well. So, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you make this. And, yeah, so comment, like, subscribe, and watch more. Bye.